Hi guys, in this video I'm just going to show you how you can move around a sprite on the screen like uh, move around an image on the screen ok so we are going to use our last project and that was in our, my last tutorial and it was called image and it's going to open up the main.cpp here and then we need to make another surface I'm just going to make a player surface um, so we know how big the player is and the destination where the player is and uh, where it should be so I'm just going to create another function and I'm going to call it draw sprite because this function is going to draw the sprite and it will have uh, 6 integers and the first one I'm going to call source x next one I'm going to call source source y next one uh, is going to be distance x distance y and then just uh, have two integers more uh, to hold the width and height and then two surfaces and the first surface is going to be the source and the second one is going to be the destination so let's go ahead and write the function we will have two rectangles first one is going to be a source rectangle and the x value there is going to be equal to source x and same with the next one is going to be hold source y and then we have the width and it's going to hold integer width and same with the height and then just write another rectangle for destination and it's going to be these things and then the width and the height ok and now just the blitz surface function and the first is going to be the source and then the rectangle of the source and then the destination the DST rectangle for that one as well okay so now we have written the function we need to use the next one the next thing uh, we're going to make need to do um, is to change the function of the sprite here to the function name that we just created and that was draw sprites, right? Um, and then we need to change the values of that. So the first value is the source x. And now we need to create a couple of integers. Uh, and it might make them global here. Global here. And the first is going to be the width the width of the character is going to be 32 and then the height is also going to be 32 and then the source x will set these to 0 and then the destination these are going to be the ones that you're going to change and where you want the player to be, so you can start off with zero, and these are of course going to be integers. Okay, so now when we are finished, we 
to write the function. So the first argument is the source x. We're just going to write source x and source pi. Destination x, destination y, the width, and to write the width integer, and then the height integer, and then the surface that we want to blit, and it's called sprite, and we get blit it to the screen. Okay, so let's try to build this. Okay, we made something wrong here. Oh, sorry. We shouldn't have that one. Okay, so let's just build it again. Okay, so you can see it works. I'll define and everything, and you can see the sprite. Uh, but now we want it to be able to move. So now we're going to uh, take advantage of this function that we just created. So I'm just going to do into our if it finds an event thing, and I'm just going to write if event type is equal to stl key down. So if you hold a key down, and um, you should find um, then if that event type. Or you don't write that. You don't, you write. Event dot key. Dot key sim. Dot sim. I know it's it looks kind of complicated, but that's how we write it. Uh, if the key symbol uh, of the key down value is equal to stl key underscore. And now we need to write the key that we want to check uh, for the event. So I'm just going to write key down. So if you press down on the arrow key, um, we should do something. And what we're going to do is to change the distance y and value to be plus 1. So if you press um, the key down the value of distance y will be plus one and you start from zero and that that is at the top and when then when you press a down value it will increment that to be equal to one and if you press it again two three so you can see it's going to move okay, so let's try this code So we can see it works. Uh, it moves. So now we can make the same fun, make almost the same thing to move it left and right. So I'm just going to write if event dot type if event dot key dot key sim dot sim is equal to stl key um, right. Then we just need to change the x value, distance x, plus equals to 1. And so you can see it works. Uh, you can try this by your own and try to see what happens if you do any changes. So, yeah, see ya.